Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yosemite Valley Zoo. Yeah, it's uh, been a long break, I'm so sorry for that, but um, we are back uh, with the second episode of season number two, and uh, today we are going to tackle, as you've seen from the thumbnail, the bridge that is going to connect over into the new area, and we are starting with a kinda geodesic dome, even though it's not really, it's like more uh, an own design. Um, mainly because it's in the game nearly impossible to do like yes it would be possible but uh, the amount of work you need to put into because the 3d gizmo is not really working according to uh, to plan so to say um, you will see quite a lot of uh, struggle in today's episode but before we get there we are first of all building that bridge over here and i must say we talked about this quite often, and I'm super happy with how that turned out. But first of all, let me thank all of you again for all the amazing feedback. Uh, feedback. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the feedback, but also th thank you for the feedback in the last couple episodes, because it's been uh, absolutely fantastic. And also some people were uh, dropping some amazing Yosemite Valley photos they took themselves. So um, uh, trust me, I'm super jealous that you guys have been there. Uh, and they put this down into my Discord channel, and I am amazed by these things because um, honestly there's one guy who is living close by and, and put all these images in and I can already tell that I'm going to uh, use one of his photos as main inspiration for the next episode which will be the Black Panther trail. So yes, I I did the work, I, I did some breeding in here and I got a Black Panther and we can finally have this Black Panther in and it's gonna be awesome. Uh, trust me if I say this, it's gonna be really cool because I focused on making that look absolutely different from the tropical element. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be something really cool, some Something that is really aligned to Yosemite Valley and something that is hopefully giving you guys um, inspiration because I wanted to do after all the tropical vibes I wanted to do something really cool um, that stands out a little bit and that's kind of different from what but this is next episode okay so um, let me tell you this one's gonna be awesome so if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see that make sure to do so because then you won't miss out on that one now let's talk about today's episode I um, I did build this bridge over here as the main connection point between uh, the old uh, area, which is not really the old area, but season one area where there are the giant sequoias and the um, what might be at some point a penguin habitat and also the flamingos and stuff like that. So you're crossing that bridge and we were talking about this quite a lot lately that we need a dedicated uh, staff overpass as well. So it's not only um, the visitors bridge, but it's also going to be a dedicated bridge for only our staff members. You will see this in a bit um, that I'm going to separate that with a wall in between. So it's uh, kind of the idea that, you know, theme parks do it as well. They theme their area so you cannot really see where the backstage area goes. And that's kind of the same idea over here. It's not like, it's not crazy. Um, you, you will still be able to see it from some points because obviously it's crossing the river, so it must be. But I'm trying to hide that away as, as best as possible with the available, uh, the available foliage and stuff so we, we do have quite a lot of uh, foliage in this game now so you know that should work but again i'm quite happy with the overall design of the bridge um i wanted to use some of the new pieces but still make it uh, look yosemite-ish and i took some inspiration again from the images uh, in there so by the way if you are not part of my discord um i'm happy to say that it got really active lately and i am uh yeah, more than happy to welcome new people in there. So it's going to be uh, quite a cool discussion going on in there. Also about Yosemite, uh, but also my other projects. And yeah, in general, the meme channel is pretty active. <laughs> Who would have guessed that, right? Uh, but no, it's, yeah, you will always find the link in the description of the video. It's always in there. So in case you want to join, uh, just follow the link. It's going to lead you there. And also if you want to see some screenshots ahead of time, it's very... Uh, highly uh, recommended to go in there as well if you want to. Uh, I can totally understand though if you are already having too many Discord channels, Discord channels, Discord channels. Um, there was an S going into that word which shouldn't be there. Now um, I, I, you know, I had the same, so I also cleaned up on some Discord channels. So I know it might not be the best in terms of advertisement, but you know, if you want to be part of it, uh, feel free to join. But I totally understand if you are a busy. Uh, spending your time in different other <laughs> various uh, discords. However, um, I was looking a long, long time for a suitable piece to make this wonderful railing over here because one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make this bridge really stand out in terms of the design. It should be very simple, simplistic in terms of the design, but still 
uh, be detailed so it does stand out quite a little bit in terms of its appearance because that definitely will drag a lot of views um, simply because it's in the middle of this river and it should definitely be some kind of uh, eye catcher since I, I do believe that people need a reason to cross that bridge and you know the, the bridge looking more and more beautiful um, makes you want to cross it once make makes you want to go on top of this one and just have a look around and all these kind of things and yeah that's why I try to you know uh, make it as nice as possible you can see I was really having a struggle to align these pieces correctly I don't know what exactly was going on with the gizmo again but it was fooling me quite a lot so I needed to make this like nearly hand by hand um, and just kind of create this uh, perfectly and uh, I think there was already a little bit of a tilt in the um, lower area of this railing uh, of the fence I should say so I think by just copying it over I, I had a very subtle uh, tilt in there and that's why it kind of created this weirdness but well at the end of the day you can see it, it worked out uh, the bridge looks good from all sides so it's yeah it's kind of cool um, I might have just need to mention uh, I might need to mention that this episode will contain no animal uh, is that I mean it's against our Saturday rule but since there's also Koali Beach today in case you haven't seen that one sorry it's Koali Zoo I said it again um, in case you haven't seen that one I highly recommend that I definitely recommend that so please make sure to jump over. I'm gonna put a little card uh, to the top right now so you guys can just click it and watch this episode because mainly the complete last week of my free time went into this uh, Kuali episode. So a huge, huge, huge build I did there. Um, not huge in terms of space, but huge in terms of details and just the, the amount of stuff I did is, um, yeah, I reached Rudy levels again. So. I, I am quite happy with how it turned out in the end, I have to say, um, and this is also mainly the reason why uh, also Yosemite took a bit longer and also why next week might not be as filled with videos as the last couple weeks were. Um, I Really, I just spent the whole week on quality, it's insane, like every single evening um, I was in the file uh, doing some stuff and, you know, just, just trying to wrap it up as good as possible at the end and this also took time. But yeah, I'm super happy and there are a lot of things in there I'm gonna definitely steal uh, for other projects as well. I'm gonna make some blueprints out of that and also share some of the blueprints to the workshop because I feel they are quite helpful for the people out there as well. Now, yeah, we are still working around that bridge and I was trying to argue in the live stream because as, as most of the times we're doing the live streams on uh, my Twitch channel and um, uh, especially in Yosemite Valley and I was trying to argue to make that bridge easier so I don't need to tackle this uh, curve over here. But yeah, at the end of the day, people decided that we need this curved area because it makes a lot more sense. And so, yeah, I was... I was building it, um, <laughs> but yeah, we also get a custom gate over here, honestly, and um, that's what you need, and then uh, trying to make sure that this looks uh, kind of nice, and some some kind of little elements in terms of handles, and yeah, these kind of things here, and just to make sure that w this door is kind of, you know, realistic as it is in here, as it stands, and just making sure that this looks uh, kind of nice, and people cannot really look directly into it. Uh, that said, though, uh, I want to just mention that this is not finished by any means. Uh, there has still to be some work to be done in the middle here. I try to start covering it up with some of the foliage items, which is one of my most favorite uh, things to do, because the foliage is always a great help to finish off areas. And if you do not know any further, just take yourself uh, some rocks and uh, just slap the rocks in and try to blend them in as nicely as possible with the overall environment and uh, yeah that's that's how you would do it uh, in order to make it all look nice and tidy and in case um you wonder why you should be part of my twitch streams we will get there now in a second so the twitch stream also leads to some very weird situations as this one over here so we implemented a little easter egg of a sunken little boat underneath the bridge so um yeah we were doing a little bit of a uh, a raffle in the uh, Twif li uh, Twitch live chat and uh, the winners, uh, the two winners of this little raffle um, got mentioned in here on a sign as you will see in a bit. Uh, this will be their little dedication to the ones that won. So it's uh, gonna be our base and Mr. Kane. Um, they did know the answer and then this is why I'm going to hide them in here. And I'm, I'm, really, I'm really looking forward to doing that more often in the future just to make sure that we have some little Easter eggs hidden in here and uh, yeah, that's kind of how it is. Um, on the side of uh, talking about that, last bit before we jump over into the dome build, um, 
on Monday I'm gonna have another live stream and this live stream is gonna be together with Bo. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, Bo is the lead community manager at uh, Frontier in terms of the Planet games and also Jurassic World Evolution. And we are going to have a live stream in Planet Coaster. So for those of you who want to see Planet Coaster again and maybe want to grab some cool DLC giveaways, um, it's 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 cool to be there just make sure to follow me on my uh, twitch channel as well and you're gonna get the notification when we're live it will be around um 6 30 uh, p.m in uh, central european summertime all right now that's that said, let's jump into the dome build okay um now <laughs> the dome was something else uh, i i think I've been building a few domes already in the game, but I honestly always stepped a little bit away from the wonderful geodesic dome that uh, a lot of people did already uh, build uh, in, in the game yet, and everyone had the uh, kind of same issue, and I wanted to tackle that, but unfortunately it um, turns out that with the given tools in the game, it's pretty much impossible to build a real geodesic dome that is really like clean uh, and um, exactly the way you wanted to have it. Now, the next couple of minutes will be a little bit of struggle and I, I intentionally left that in so you can see what exactly is the problem here. Now, as you can see, um, the simplest um, method of doing it is using these hexagon pieces that the game offers. But you can definitely tell already that there is a lot of intersection going on uh, towards the top part of this dome. Now, if you're fine with it and you can, you can, you can deal with this little bit of intersection going on, you're good to go. You have, let's say, um, the lowest part of a few stories that is totally fine uh, until then you go into some more issues the higher you get. Now, um, I also tried some other other little things over here, but you know, at the end I figured this might have been too complicated. So again, if, if, you, if you are fine with this problematic look to the top, which you kind of, I have to say, it, it does look interesting. It's not necessarily looking super ugly, but it looks, well, a little bit... Um, weird let's say it doesn't look clean and i want my buildings to look at least some kind of clean now yeah i i figured that i might just want to try to build a dome only with the glass pieces first and therefore i made this wonderful circular thing um perfectly fine first uh, in like the sides and then uh, what i did is just uh, rotate it around so we have this perfectly circled dome thing also going around the middle and then yeah i just started copying it around into each other so that this makes up for yeah a wonderful glass dome so that was the that was the first attempt to just make the dome which i'm quite happy with but uh, again also that one does look a little bit finicky because uh, you also have the glass pieces uh, starting to move into each other. The higher you come to the top and the closer you get um, with the things. So yeah, we have to live with that, I guess. There's like no other reason of, of doing it um, or like no other way of doing it. And then I tried to make these, uh, yeah, geodesic um, hexagons myself. Now I ended up having having a huge struggle doing this, uh, mainly because you need to tilt them towards the top. And once you start rotating the thing, you are running into some severe issues of making them ever so much smaller the higher you get. Like, it is possible, as I said, and there might be a way of doing it uh, if you have even more patience, if you just, if you're willing to make them smaller each step you're getting higher up into the build. Now, the main issue I had is not really that this was too problematic to do. No, the main issue was at all given times that at a certain point the gizmo stopped working now you do want to have and well it's actually it's not you want to have you do need to have the gizmo being perfectly centered towards the face of the dome now it's not gonna work as soon as the gizmo is just like half a degree off you are really running into some severe issues because then it's gonna start that these pieces start to slightly tilt to the side or slightly tilt to the right or left or whatever and then it's going to look a little bit crap. Now, to demonstrate that, I left this footage in of a second attempt. You can see in the background, by the way, already the kinda ish finished design um, what I went for. But um, you will see now in this particular build over here that I tried to make the um, dome work a little bit nicer with the hexagon 
pieces. You will see in a bit um, that at some point the gizmo just stopped working out of a out of a uh, out of nowhere, so to say. So I was copying it around so that I always had the centered piece there, and it was always working until this very point you can see over here. It just didn't work anymore. So what I ended up doing is I um, put down. A, a grid piece and I copied the grid piece three times until the gizmo was working again and then I needed to always delete these pieces. But yeah, um, if if we will um, see that in a few seconds, um, the the moment I started to rotate the whole building around each other, you want to see, uh, you're going to see that um, the same little tilt was still happening even though I thought I figured out how to not do it uh, because I thought the gizmo was nice and fine but apparently it wasn't and you will see that in a bit uh, when I start to, yeah, just um, copy them all together. Like, I do know now that there is one more way of doing it, and that would be a very tedious way, and that would be that you need to, first of all, build one complete, um, let's say, archway, and this one has to get every, uh, every single step uh, you get up, uh, it has to get a little bit more narrow and a little bit more tilled. And what you have to do is you basically always have to rotate the whole building around a certain step, uh, a certain degree. And then you always need to make sure that you go exactly this little step uh, smaller so that they align. But as you can see, when I start to rotate it around, you can see that the first, let's say, 10... Oh, it's not 10, it's like six or seven-ish hexagons are looking absolutely perfect. And then it starts to get together towards the top, as you can see. So this is where I would need to make these hexagons uh, look a bit nicer to uh, each other. So maybe I'm going to change this in the future uh, when I have a bit more spare time and, and just do this off screen uh, because I have the feeling that this could be of value. Now, uh, you will definitely see that this building is now uh, going to be tackled in a slightly different way. I, I kind of try to uh, secure the build uh, by putting a little bit of an... Uh, it's almost like a little hat, but uh, I was putting a top on on top of it. Like, uh, I was putting a little roof on top uh, simply to make sure that this ugly connecting uh, pieces that are intersecting on the top are not really visible. And I wanted to give it a more solid top as well uh, in terms of the weather and stuff. And just because I feel it would have been a bit out of place for Yosemite if there is not a little bit of a wooden element in. I went with the wooden pieces. As you can see, I was um, willing to put three domes down because this will be our tropical area in which there will be the capuchin monkey. Um, there will be also, um, I, I'm not even sure which exact animals go in here. I was actually looking maybe into uh, the gharial maybe or something um, and there will be partly but just partly uh, the housing of the jaguar and then there will be also the the housing of the black panther as i said at the beginning of the episode but the panther will be connected to an outdoor area as well so um, this we we still have to decide on which animals go into the dome so please guys if you have some ideas let me know um, I'm really really looking forward to the ideas you guys come up with so which animals do you want to see in these domes like as I said the capuchin monkey is definitely a uh, a given um, but as we have already the uh, giant anteater and the bad tapir put into the night house they kind of fall short for this one so um, yeah just let me know which animals you think would be nice to be put in here as well because I feel like that would be pretty uh, pretty cool if you guys can give me some hints and, and notes and wh whatever you think could be going in here. And yeah, this is just some some uh, generic foliage work to make sure that there is a context for these buildings. And next episode we can tackle these things uh, finally a little bit more in detail. Now, that's pretty much been it for today's episode. Just a little bit more landscaping here and there and then we are good to go. Um, and I hope you enjoyed today's build uh, with a little bit of the, the dome focus and the bridge. But I think it's it's really important to have this and it was also worth it uh, to make this new... It's almost like a new zoo for me because it's such a kind of fresh start on the new side of the river. Um, and yeah, let's see what we get in here. Hope you have a good time and uh, enjoy your Saturday evening. Goodbye everyone.